Number nine on page 357. Okay, that's a good question. So use the given value to evaluate if possible all six trig functions. Uh, and my assumption is you're going to use trig identities. Okay. So number nine on page 357. It's number nine. Okay. And you're given sine negative x equals negative two over three and tangent x equals negative two root five over five. Everybody know what I'm doing, right? Yeah? Homework problem from last night, number nine, page 357. What's going on? Oh, well, you need some, some lubricant oil stuff. Is that yours, Zach? Is that your, your, your yeah. desk? Hmm. Okay. So, uh, awesome. Since you asked me this question, sine negative x, is sine an even function or an odd function? Sorry, Timmy? Odd. Everybody agree with Laura on that? So then, sine negative x has got to be equal to negative sine x. Does everybody buy that? Because it's an odd function. So if negative sine x equals negative 2 over, five, or two over 3, what's sine x equal to? 2 over 3. And tangent is negative. So which quadrant is the angle in? Huh, what? Who say 4? Okay, let's start. 1. Anybody for 1? Anybody for 1? Nobody for 1. That's right. 2. Anybody for 2? Second quadrant, okay, tangent is negative, sine is positive. So it's in the second quadrant, okay, out here. All right, so we're going to use trig identities, okay? Awesome, pick up identity. Yeah. yeah, what is it? What's the pick up identity? Oh, my God. Did I teach you how to pick up guys uh, yesterday? Sign, like, like nerdy boys? No, no, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you're not going to be able to do a good job on picking up boys, I'll tell you that. Less nerdy boys. Oh, okay. Gangster boys, maybe. <laughs> okay. okay, come on, come on. Someone help me. Beta. Sine squared minus cosine squared equals 1. Okay, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Do I know sine x? Yeah. What's sine squared? Hello? Uh -huh. What's sine squared? Four over, nine. 4 over 9 plus cosine squared x equals 1. So what's cosine squared x? 5 over 9. 5 over 9. So what's cosine x? Square root of? Square root of 5 over 3. Positive or negative? negative. Why? Fantastic. Nice. Okay? And then the others are all reciprocal functions. You should know how to get those, right? One over. So. Yeah, Laura. 23. 23. Okay, can I take this down? No. Yeah. Uh, okay. Leave it there. Okay. 23 is hella interesting. Hella interesting. I take it down? Uh, number 23, uh, page 357 as well. Okay, number 23, it says match the trig uh, expression with one of the following, and 23 is sec to the fourth x minus 10 four x. Anybody know how to factor this? Fantastic, awesome. Really good, Laura. Okay? Because if you fold this stuff out, you'll get what you started out with. Okay? Does anybody know any identities that relate secant squared and tangent squared? Yeah, Mandy? 
Okay, so is secant squared x minus 10 squared x is equal to what then? Fantastic. So this is equal to 1. So then this is sec squared x plus 10 squared x. Is this one of the choices? Uh, F. Okay? Is everybody all right? So again, like I'm telling you yesterday, that all this stuff is really a question of creativity, okay? I mean, how do you even know what to do with this beast? You just feel the math, okay? And seriously, if you don't, if you don't feel math in Chapter 5, it's going to be painful. Yeah, you'll only feel pain. Yeah. Uh, you could, but it'd be painful. Yeah, you could, but it, it'd be painful because it's to the fourth power. It'll be sine to the fourth over cosine to the fourth. And the other one was secant, right? So there'd be one over cosine to the fourth. I don't know if you'll even get to this answer because then you get one minus sine to the fourth over cosine to the fourth. Yeah, that's hella nasty. I mean, you could get there, but it'd be long. You do what? Yeah, that's not to the fourth. Yeah, that's not to the fourth. Yeah, it's not to the fourth. Actually, this is a fairly common mistake. Okay, when I was ta taking a credential school long, long, long time ago at San Jose State, there was a theorem that my professor used to call the high school fool's theorem. Okay, and the high school fool's theorem was. Okay, that is not true. So similarly with the fourth, that would not be true. Okay, all right. So make sure you don't make that kind of mistake. Okay. All right. Any other questions you may go over? Yeah. Thirteen. Uh, CSC theta is undefined and cosine theta is negative. Wow. Interesting. So CSC theta is one over. Samantha, one over, one over sine theta. So if CSC theta is undefined, what can you say about sine theta? Zero. It's zero. Okay. All right. And sine goes with the y coordinate or the x coordinate. Y coordinate. So the two quadrantal angles this would correspond to would be. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about the angles that happen to be either there, 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 or there. They're called the quadrantal angles. Um, 